After traveling nearly 10 months in space, the Phoenix Mars lander is about to touch down on the surface of Mars. If all goes according to plan, it will land on the planet's northern polar region, where scientists think there are vast amounts of underground ice and perhaps traces of organic compounds, an essential ingredient for life. This is truly the defining moment of this mission. Nonetheless, global success rate for getting to the surface of Mars is less than 50%. The lander will rely on its heat shield, its parachute, and a dozen thrusters to slow itself down from 12,000 miles an hour to just 5 miles an hour in only a few minutes. There's a lot of uncertainties left. Um, there's still a potential for a maneuver that's going to be discussed. Um, there's also just typically the unknowns that occur at Mars. Mars is always there to throw those unknowns at us. If successful, Phoenix will join two other spacecraft on the Martian surface, Spirit and Opportunity, the two rovers that landed four years ago and have been exploring the planet's equator. However, NASA hasn't had a successful powered landing since the Mars Viking mission in 1976. The last time NASA made an attempt was in 1999, when the Mars Polar Lander cut off its engines too quickly and crashed into the South Pole during a communications blackout. Sophia Manos, The Associated Press.